In this tutorial, we will discuss controller settings and pump calibration for direct injection on the AgLeader Integra or Versa display. To enter controller settings for our direct injection pump, from the home screen, press the Setup button, highlight the direct injection configuration and press the wrench. Toggle to the second tab for injection and press controller settings. First up will be to enter a factory calibration number. This is per the tag on the digital pump speed sensor. Divide this number by 10 as the number is in pulses per 10 fluid ounces. Error threshold is the user defined percentage of actual rate error allowed before an alarm sounds. Error delay is the number of seconds that the actual rate falls out of the error threshold before an alarm sounds. Under Flow Monitor Warning, Error Threshold is the percentage of perceived application error based on Discharge Flow Sensor. And lastly, Enable Warning checkbox allows you the option of displaying the Flow Monitor Warning. Now press Perform Calibration. Step 1 of 6 of the Calibration Wizard will be to select a controller to calibrate. If we had multiple direct injection modules, we could specify this here. The second step of the wizard will be to prime the pump prior to calibration. Press Prime. Acknowledge the warning to circulate product back to the chemical tank. The injection pump screen appears. The countdown time remaining is shown in the black box. The bar underneath turns green when the pump is operating. Use the up and down arrows to manually increase or decrease the pump speed. After the injection pump is primed, press the green checkbox. After the pump is primed, step 3 of 6 will be to press the keypad and enter the amount you would like dispensed during the calibration routine. When finished, press the blue right arrow. Acknowledge the warning stating to prepare to catch any product dispensed in an appropriate container. In step 4, Press the green start button to begin the calibration routine. The pump calibration wizard automatically counts up to the amount you specified in step 3. After the product has been dispensed, press the next arrow. Step 5 of 6 will be to press the keypad and enter the actual amount that was dispensed. Press the right arrow. The calibration wizard is now complete. A new pump calibration number is displayed. You can press repeat calibration to repeat the wizard or press the green check mark to finish. The new active calibration number is now displayed under the controller settings page. For more on direct injection and pump calibration, please refer to your display manual.